for this next look, it was requested by a friend. So thank you so much for sending your request to me. And I will insert a picture here somewhere on the screen so that you can see what the inspo, uh, where the inspiration for this uh, look is coming from. As you can see, Um, in this picture, you can see her freckles, the brows are quite natural, the eyeshadow is very natural, the lip color is very natural. So this is going to be almost like a summer smoky brown look. Um, so for this look, I have already moisturized my face and I am going to start with the skin. I think I'm going to use a setting spray as my primer. So I'm using the NYX Dewy Finish long-lasting setting spray so I'm just going to spray this on my face and the next step is to use a tinted moisturizer so I'm going to use the MAC Lightful tinted cream and this is an SPF 30 um, this is in light plus so I'm just going to take this on my fingers and start to apply it on my skin So this is exactly like a moisturizer, just with a little bit of tint to it. So I'm just going to apply it generously to the face and the neck. You want to make sure you take this color on your neck so that your neck and your face match. So that's a glowy finish, uh, a little bit of color, not too much, so I really like that. So this model has a very natural under eye look. She doesn't have a lot of concealer, so I'm going to take my concealer, this is by e.l.f., and I'm just going to apply a little bit to the inner corner and a little bit to the lid, just on the inner corner. And I'm going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. Um, this was clean. I just created another look uh, before this one. So that's why it's dirty, but I promise it was clean. Um, and I'm just going to blend this concealer out, keeping it concentrated on the inner corner. So for the lid i'm going to take whatever's left over on the sponge and just gently apply that to the lid i don't want too much coverage but i want a little bit of tackiness so that when we apply eyeshadows um, the eyeshadow can go on and stick to something So now I'm going to set the under eye area and I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder and a small brush like so. Pick up a little bit of the translucent powder and just tap this into place, just sticking to the inner corner. So for the rest of the face, um, I'm going to mattify the skin. And I'm just going to use a large fluffy powder brush like this and pick up some translucent powder and apply that to the face, um, ge not generously, just like gently. I don't want to take away from the glow that's on the skin because the model has quite a bit of glow and shine to the middle of her face. So I'm going to start on the outside of the face and concentrate more of the product on the outside. And then just ever so slightly, I'm going to apply some of the powder, like there's not much to this brush. I'm going to apply that to the center of the face. As you can see, there's still a bit of a shine, a glow to the skin, just like the model has. So I'm going to leave it at that. For her other face products, like her blush and her bronzer. She's got it quite um, blended out. So I'm going to use a large fluffy brush like this and my hula bronzer and I'm just going to gently pick up some of the color and apply it to kind of the outside of the face. I don't want to go too far in. So 
this model is wearing a matte blush and I'm going to use one of my favorites which is the Melba blush by MAC and I'm just going to pick some up on a brush and apply that to the apples of my cheeks concentrating more on the apples and gently blending into the bronzer but I'm not going to drag it very far. She's got very rosy cheeks and I feel like I just created very rosy cheeks, but they are going to need to be blended out eventually, so we'll get to that. For my eyeshadows, I'm going to use the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes Palette. This look involves all mattes, so I'm going to pick up, I'm going to start lighter and then work my way up, but I'm going to pick up this. Um, tone right here which is peach tea right here and I'm going to apply this all over the lid. So I'm not going to apply any more shadow to the lid or um, to the crease, but what I am going to do is with just a clean blending brush. This one is by Contoured Studios. So it's clean, there's no product on it. I'm going to blend out the edges and soften them up. With a pencil brush like this, I'm going to pick up Chocolate Dipped, which is a very dark brown shadow right there. And I'm going to apply this to the lash line. Going back to the first eyeshadow brush and the first shade that we use, Peach Tea, the very light brown color, I'm just going to put this on top to add a little bit more color to the lid and to help kind of blend the color that we just applied. I'm not sweeping this all around, I'm just applying this on top. take this brush and not put any more product on it. This one we use the dark brown. I'm not going to put any more product on it but I'm going to just gently sweep this over the place that we originally applied the color. So this model does have a little bit of brown like under her eyes. So using this fluffy brush I'm going to pick up Peach Tea, which is the light brown shade, the light brown shade right here, and I'm going to start to just sweep this under the eyes. This brush that we just used to sweep the shame, the shame. <laughs> the same peach tea shadow under our eyes. There's no new product on this brush, but I'm going to blend the crease just ever so slightly.
it doesn't look like this model has a lot going on around her nose, but I like a contoured nose. So I'm gonna use my small angled brush like so, and my hula bronzer, and I'm going to contour the side of my nose. So for next steps, this model, her brows aren't very precise. They're actually kind of messy, bushy looking. Um, good thing I naturally have bushy brows. If you don't, you can use a small angled brush like this one and a dark brown eyeshadow or a dark eyeshadow that matches your brow hairs and just draw some hairs in but I am not going to fill my brows in what I am going to do is take some brow gel and just start to set my brows but also just kind of make them a little bit messy and bushy looking so I'm going to sweep it upwards definitely need a mirror for this <laughs> Using a spoolie like this, I'm just going to brush the brow hairs down. Okay, so that's the brows. For lips, this model has a very natural pink lip color. And I am going to use my Tarte Lip Rescue in the shade Rose. The model is wearing a brown mascara. It looks very brown, very light. I don't have a brown mascara, so I'm going to use a purple one. So this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original in the shade Burgundy. I'm going to apply some of this mascara to the bottom lashes. To blend out this cheek color a little bit, I'm going to use a blending brush like this one, a stippling brush. Um, this one is by Contoured Studios. I'm going to gently buff the blush into the skin to blend it out a little bit. So I just went back and looked at the picture one more time and the model's cheeks look very pink so I'm gonna go in with this blush and this is MAC Pincho Peach and I'm just gonna apply this to the apples of my cheek. Once again I'm gonna blend with the stippling brush. To finish this look, I am going to set with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. This model has a very dewy finish. She's got a little bit of shine to the center of her face. That's why I'm not using any mattifying products. This is the completed look. It was super simple to do. Not a lot of products, kept it very light. 
the skin is glowing. I enjoyed creating this look. So to the special someone that did request this look, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see what's next. And if you have any suggestions or recommendations, please send your suggestions to me so that I can create more looks for you. Thanks so much, everyone.